Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I'm going to start this footage by giving introductions to newcomers. I am high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm trying to make my own creative universe, like, in order to be as blessed as the late Stanley was. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast so far and my uh, interconnected blog. I hope you guys are feeling satisfactory as of so far for what I've introduced to you guys. For this footage, I'm going to introduce a character known as Dark Pym, which is simply the trademark enemy of Pym, an evil duplicate, you may say. You know? Here's the storyline, and to, uh, if you could bear with me and at least try to be able to tag along, you could get a decent comprehension of the storyline and such. Here it is. Dark Pym number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 21st, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the Sahara Desert until we get to the Fortress of Heroism, where we see Pym all alone and thinking to herself. Hmm. Must be having a hard time chatting with people due to my cosmic IQ and personal word usage. Maybe if I can create a duplicate of myself, I won't have to worry about being so hard to understand. After a week, Penelope finally created a special duplication gun. To test it out, she made a fully functional clone of herself. Hello there, duplicate. I've created you so that way I won't be able to I won't be alone with arguments and such. When the monitor, as Pim learned, that there's another game fight to handle with. Okay, duplicate, I've gotta do some work. Penelope said as she teleported herself to downtown Manhattan. Unfortunately, the duplicate took the gun and started duplicating herself. When Penelope got back into the fortress, she found that her duplicate made an entire army of herself. What are you doing, duplicate? she yelled at her. Don't call me duplicate, Penelope. I shall now go by Dark Pym. And she continued, Your duplication gun had the side effect of creating evil duplicates. I shall start transporting my army and destroy all that are nothing like me. You can't do this, Dark Pym. It'll ruin your reputation. And Dark Pym stated, My reputation is already ruined. Pym then started fighting her evil clone. But she realized that the more she battles her, the more she hurts herself, due to them being the same person. After a few hours of struggling, Penelope finally blasted Dark Pym and her army on a one-way trip to the moon. Finally, Pym said to herself in exhaustion. I have finally handled with Dark Pym, and she went back to her monitors to scan for more global threats. However, Dark Pym and her army created their own base on the surface of the moon, which is known since as the Fortress of Terrorism. After putting on a purple latex suit, Dark Pym finally announced to her servants, We shall have our revenge on that blasted Pym. When the time is right, we shall have all those alternates be utterly decimated forevermore. The end. Well, I hope this video is comprehensible for that, and I hope you guys are enjoying this podcast and my blog and such second mention. And if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's it's your choice. It's all on you. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hopefully you guys have a decent time in the long run and such. And until next time, in transmission.